March 27, 1975, a prophet named Ruth Green prophesied that I would travel the world and preach to millions of people. I was flunking. I, I had flunked out of college. I was in my mother's beauty shop, and she kept looking at me in the mirror. And every time I looked up, she was looking at me. So she wrote it down. I still have a piece of paper. I've told this story before. She didn't say you're going to be an actor. She didn't say you're going to make you know, movies, you're going to make millions of dollars and all that. Make a long story long, 1982, I was filled with the Holy Spirit. It just wasn't ready. Going back to your question, rationalize, justify it, if you will, what I was doing by speaking through my work. I asked the pastor, uh, 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 Bishop Blake, I said, well, do you think, you know, I told him that story, I don't know how many years ago, do you think I should be a pastor? What she told me, she said, no, he said, no, you have your pulpit. So I always looked for that, for lack of a better word, angle. What's the story? That the only thing I wrote on the cover of training day was the wages of sin is death. I had the end of that film changed. For in order for me to justify living in the worst way, I had to die in the worst way. He died in a very small way in the, in the script. But I purposely wanted him to be knocked down on the ground and crawl like a snake. I purposely wanted everyone in the community to turn on him and I wanted him to die in the most violent way. So for many, many years and decades, I did that through my work and through my philanthropy and through being a good guy and all of those things. That's not the case anymore. What my mother said to me was, Denzel, you do a lot of good, but you must do good the right way. And she said, you know what I'm talking about. Can't buy your way in. Can't love your way in. You gotta serve. You gotta do good the right way. So at 66, getting ready to be 67, having just buried my mother, I made a promise to her and to God to do not just to do good the right way but to honor my mother and my father by the way I live my life the rest of my days on this earth I'm here to serve to help to provide in every prayer you know the ego is interesting you just don't know but in every prayer all I hear is feed my sheep that's what God wants me to do I'm like well wait a minute <laughs> what's that mean well, what I found out in the last couple of years of hearing it, that there's all kinds of sheep. Not everybody wants to go right to the... So that's why I talk to experienced shepherds <laughs> like yourself to, 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 to help guide me. So to make a long story longer, going back to your question, it can be wobbly. The world has changed. What is our role as a man? You know, the, 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 the John Wayne formula is, is not quite, <laughs> doesn't fit right, right now, but uh, strength. Yes, I've been high up on the mountain. I've been blessed, but that's a slippery slope. Yeah. And it's lonely up there. Yeah. Yeah. You know, people don't know that side of 